Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. Joining me now to discuss RAN developments, the associated challenges and opportunities for CSPs, and to explain how the HPE RAN automation software can help, is Stefano Caperi, Worldwide Service Assurance and RAN Automation Portfolio Lead with the Communications Technology Group of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Good to see you, Stefano. Thanks for taking part in our program today. I'd like to first ask you, what are the latest developments we're seeing in the radio access network market? Hi, good day. So first of all, I think uh, to answer this question, uh, it's important to focus on two main aspects. One is, uh, I would say, the technology or the technology evolution that is happening in the radio access uh, network. And the second one is uh, probably the uh, business opportunity that that would represent. So if we double click on the first aspect, um, what is happening in the radio access is basically what happened a few years ago in the core network, means disaggregation, means basically decoupling the appliance that is uh, in the market today from uh, the hardware and the software, means uh, therefore that uh, we're going to have a, a multiple player uh, in the in the industry in the radio access uh, compared to what is happening today. Um, what is expected out of this disaggregation is, of course, uh, a, a better use of a specialized hardware and uh, uh, I would say standard x86 hardware on the foundation on the hardware side. Um, that means uh, a better use of resources a better TCO uh, that uh, customers are expecting there in terms of OPEX saving because a uh, better use of energy, better use of uh, compute and power resources there. Um, at the same time, uh, I would say that this disaggregation implies that uh, there are multiple players uh, that are um, going to uh, be part of this game. Um, that means, of course, uh, an opportunity for mixing uh, the best uh, of the software the best of the hardware, as well as the challenge to operate uh, these multiple layers that would represent uh, uh, this uh, new radio access uh, disaggregation. Um, at the same time, um, I think these openness brings uh, uh, lots of opportunity in terms of uh, innovation, in terms of, uh, I would say, additional uh, uh, power in, uh, in terms of procuring the solution and uh, uh, business opportunity as well, because the more the ecosystem is open, the more you have uh, innovation, the more you have, uh, uh, of course, uh, exploit the value of competition. So Stefano, that's the background to the market. Can you tell us more now about the challenges and risks that you mentioned, as well as the opportunities for service providers? Yeah, there are opportunities, but um, let me double click on the challenges first. Uh, the multiple layers of technology and multiple vendors means to be able uh, to have uh, sort of different capabilities pre-integrated as much as possible to avoid the risk do that uh, uh, each time to, to avoid to the risk uh, uh, with the multiple vendors uh, at uh, each time the market needs um, there is the intrinsic need to do um, automation from an end-to-end -end perspective what we mean with that uh, Automation is a, is a key fundamental part of the of the equation here because uh, automation needs to be applied both uh, from uh, the different, uh, I would say, layers of the technology, from the, the edge devices, uh, from the, the, the transport, from the central uh, of, uh, of the data centers where you need to assemble information as well as multiple layers from infra management to, uh, I would say, the upper layer of the software. So automation is also meaning uh, that you need to automate the full life cycle of, of the service from, uh, I would say, the, the way that the network has designed, the radio access uh, is uh, deployed, is integrated, and of course, uh, operated in, in the field. There are other, other challenges as well that uh, we are facing. Uh, for instance, uh, the fact that uh, this uh, disaggregation in the run uh, is happening at uh, this time of uh, the 5G explosion means that uh, there are a lots of data that uh, are produced by consumer, by, by devices, and we need to have uh, the ability to handle those data. This data represents a challenge because there is a different kind of uh, uh, volume and speed of data, but also there is an opportunity because if we manage this data according 
to the information that they can carry out uh, in the radio access means, for instance, intelligence in the radio controller means uh, uh, exploit the benefit of uh, AI ML based uh, automation in terms of, uh, of course, uh, a tool set in uh, re near real time and no real time for uh, application development as well that uh, could leverage these, uh, I would say, significant amount of data. Um, other challenges are represented by the fact that the radio access is uh, uh, distributed as, as a network. And of course, uh, the fact that uh, this disaggregation needs to coexist over time in terms of uh, maintaining the legacy and maintaining uh, uh, the ability to, to keep up with the virtualized radio access or to the cloudified uh, radio software that is uh, going to be installed there. As you say, automation is a key component. What is HPE doing here to help? Basically, two main things. One is uh, we continue to innovate. We continue to innovate in technology. You have seen uh, the announcements uh, in the last months, in the last weeks, about our uh, specialized uh, hardware for radio access, uh, for disaggregated radio access with the ProLion family DL110. We have seen announcement recently at the Mobile World Congress about uh, the partnership with Qualcomm for a best use of uh, compute resources, provides a TCO saving up to 60%, and that's one aspect. So we definitely are a player in the O cloud uh, to use uh, an open run uh, standard terminology. And the uh, uh, second point, uh, we want to get together and uh, offer the run automation software that what we are announcing today as a, a pre-integrated software from HP, a software that provides a, a set of different capabilities that is offered to the market uh, on a cloud-based, uh, is offered as a service, and uh, is gluing together capabilities uh, from uh, our leadership in uh, uh, management and automation from the infrastructure up to the software. With these two main uh, offering, we definitely are a player in the disaggregated run journey on the O cloud and in the SMO, in the service management and orchestration layer. And Stefano, can you provide more details on what you mean there by pre-integrated? What does this comprise? And, and also, what do you mean by as a service? So first of all, let me double click on what uh, was our main objective when we wanted to invest and innovate in this run automation software. And uh, the first question that uh, we were asking ourselves is that uh, what we want to achieve, what kind of uh, advantages, what kind of benefits we want to uh, get available for our partners and, and customers. And uh, we wanted to understand uh, how the software is making uh, the today life and tomorrow life uh, better for the, the users, basically the network planning, uh, the radio planning, uh, engineering, and the operations and engineering. So if we look at the way they use the software today and they use the, uh, their, the, the plan the radio access uh, in terms of capacity management, in terms of uh, understanding the different uh, uh, workload uh, in, the, in the run, the performance, uh, the, run, the way that they plan features, uh, um, the, the platform itself needs to cover those use cases, as well as uh, uh, automate more the way they operate the network, the way they troubleshoot the hardware, the software, the full stack, the way that uh, they can upgrade the uh, software releases, the hardware framework, the BIOS, uh, in order to reduce as much as possible human being, human task in a very distributed environment as it is uh, the, uh, the radio access. So that is what today is happening. And also, if we think uh, what is going to happen in the future, of course, uh, we, we, we know that uh, the AI based automation is the key uh, secret that uh, we want to exploit the value. So we want to make sure that uh, we have uh, use cases to optimize uh, full access power consumption and uh, the software to accommodate uh, different usage, different partners, different kind of uh, uh, customer experience when they go to, to use uh, the, the, the mobile network and radio access. Having that in mind, and if we look at the capabilities that uh, um, we have pre-integrated to answer your question. Basically, we are integrating fundamentally uh, the following components. We want to automate the management of the infrastructure. So there is a fundamental capability of infra management that has to be uh, pre-validated with a set of hardware that will be uh, hosting uh, the VDU and the VCU software. 
there are capabilities that uh, will have to do with the monitoring management, the full uh, uh, stack of the hardware and software for both an assurance perspective as well as ability to do policy management, configuration management, and optimization of the software itself, combining the full stack from the hardware to software. And of course, that has to be used in a very simple manner, it has to be used uh, with an interface that uh, it has to be simple to use, has to be to the point to you, exploit all these capabilities that are going to be pre-integrated, hosted in a platform that is uh, available to be uh, on the cloud, public or private, for our customers. And uh, if you look at the journey, um, we have gained experience from uh, helping uh, uh, one of the main Tire One operators uh, deploying their virtualized uh, radio access. And as such, we understand that the first complexity to handle is uh, the deployment and uh, management of different uh, uh, sites uh, where uh, the VDU and uh, VCU will be rolled out. So infra management, and then, of course, the ability to onboard uh, in a vendor agnostic manner, all set of different kinds of capabilities in terms of software and vendors, uh, up to the point of optimize, configure and optimize uh, the, uh, the software at, uh, at the edge of the network. And as well as the pre-integration aspect, what are the other key attributes of the HPE RAN automation software? I think I need to stress again the fact that uh, this software is going to be offered, uh, operated by HP, is going to be offered as a service. We offer a service uh, to our customers uh, um, that are coming uh, from this platform. Is a, is a modular approach. We don't want to offer all the services they want. Is a menu. We, we, we come face the market with the capabilities that uh, uh, as far as the ORAN uh, Alliance Group standards will mature, we accommodate more and more optionally these features on top of the infra management and we're going to offer from the cloud we're going to offer from uh, a private cloud we're going to offer from a, uh, a public cloud in such a way the tool can be used by different uh, uh, users by uh, by mno by csp by partners uh, in a very in a very effective and efficient manner uh, that's basically fundamentally the the key aspects of uh, the run automation platform that uh, we're hitting the market and when will this solution be ready for your customers? When will go-to-market occur? The solution is a modular solution and will go to market uh, incrementally, adding value um, release after the release in an uh, in incremental manner. Uh, a solution is available uh, for trials and for Lighthouse customers now as, uh, as we're hitting the market and will be fully general available by the end of 2022. Um, Users or uh, who we're gonna use the, the platform, as I said before, is a modular, is a very open in terms of um, uh, features that you can offer in terms of uh, software to be managed in an agnostic manner for technology players. So I, I, we can think it can be used by MNO, by CSP, by operations folks, by uh, network planning departments, as well as uh, global SIs and everyone would like to get benefits out of this journey on the run uh, uh, ecosystems and uh, in the disaggregation in the market in the radio access. Good to hear. And finally, Stefano, can you summarize for us the benefits you're going to provide to your customers with this solution? And of course, why HPE? I think I've uh, touched points on uh, why HPE. Uh, if I can summarize with um, two sentences, uh, first of all, uh, there is there's a company here that uh, has been leading the market in terms of uh, innovation in technology, uh, in the hardware, and we are committed to continue to invest uh, in technology. And we are leading the market also in the OSS. And as a such, uh, we believe that we can pave the way in the automation um, from uh, from infra to software in a very in a very um, effective way to be adding value. That is the point number one. The point number two is that uh, we believe we can deliver value uh, at scale. There are 10,000 of uh, different sites. Uh, it's a very fragmented, it's a very um, distributed environment. And we believe that we can hit uh, more than 50% reduction in the field with less engineering and operational tasks with this automation platform in the market. Great. Well, Stefano, we must end it there. Thank you very much for joining us today. 
My pleasure. Thanks for hosting me here.